Hey guys, in this video, I will be sharing the experience I had with my top surgery. Um, I wish I was able to document more and record more videos and take more photos, but um, I really had to. I've said this multiple times. Um, yeah, I really wanted to focus on my recovery. Um, it was really important that I did that. So um, this is all that I had and I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you at the end of the video. So I am in the room um, waiting for what's well, 8 a.m. So my surgery is at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, so I'm just gonna wait around here. And also I got a surprise from my dear friend. Thank you, Chase, for this one. Uh, look what he got me. Got me some Gatorade. Some Chucky. Mmm, I love Chucky. And Pringles for snacks. Thank you, Chase. You didn't have to, but thank you. So I'm staying here for three days. Um, yeah, I'm staying at a hotel room for three days. Um, right before going home to tell my mother the news. I haven't told her yet. Uh, so we'll see what her reaction is. So, I'll be here for a few hours before going to the hospital and um, I'll give you guys an update on what goes on later on in the day. See ya! So right now I am preparing my meds. I've got uh, antibiotics. Uh, this one is a uh, pain reliever, I believe. So. And the other one is, uh, I think, I believe this prevents from bleeding, excessive bleeding. And I've got my betadine gargle. So, yeah. I have been told that I will be on soft food or liquid diet after the procedure. So, I do have my old cereal drink. Ready for after the procedure. What's so, up? And V has arrived, and this is a, her care package she has prepared for me. So I've got um, facial wipes and a bunch of masks. There's also alcohol, and she's pretty much gonna be taking care of me for the next few days. Are you excited? Kinda. Are you nervous? I don't really feel nervous. You're more unexcited. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, yeah. Is the water cold? It's hot. It's warm. Hi. Um, so it's 11 a.m. and it's about two hours before my surgery. So I'm still preparing. This is it. Yeah. So I'm done changing and I'm all set. We're now about to go down and yeah, um, to the hospital for my top surgery. Peace. Mm -hmm. This 
is it. Meanwhile. Hi. So we're waiting for Van to finish his surgery. <laughs> A few moments later. Hi. So it's six o'clock and we're still waiting for that. You guys are not More moments later. Much 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 later. So we're waiting for Van. It's not 30 minutes. But we're okay. Eventually. So after a few days, he's finally eating on his own. I don't have to feed him. Do you like your food? So good. How do you feel? Place the dressing. Yeah. Hey guys, um, I just got home from my doctor's appointment, and I wanted to share all these before I got. Um, so yeah, I wanted to video, take a video of this. Um, so I had my, I'm currently two weeks post op, and I have my bandage finally taken out. I'll be sharing with you guys um, photos of my chest and I don't know if it still feels so surreal like oh my god I can't believe my chest looks like this and um, as much as I wanted to I've shared this in my previous um, recordings I think um, but as much as I wanted to document it like on a daily basis I had to really focus on my healing and my recovery so yeah it was impossible for me to do that um, yeah I had to make sure that I ate properly I um, positioned, positioned my body properly and all those things and had to stick to my medications and yeah um, had to hydrate myself 
other than that, I'm just so fucking happy that I finally ha had top surgery. And um, yeah, I'm two weeks post up as of today. Hey guys, um, I just got home from my doctor's follow up checkup and um, I am currently three weeks on post op and yeah, I feel great. Finally, I am off the gauze um, on my nipple part, nipple area. And currently, my shoulder movement is only um, the left side is only until here. I can't fully go up to 180 degrees yet and my right side is much more limited um, I can only hold up to here so yeah if I raise both the left side is higher and yeah I don't want to force it because I want to heal I want it to heal properly so yeah that's my arm movement my shoulder movement other than that, I can mostly do all the rest of the ADLs, uh, my activities of daily living. Um, I'm just not allowed to lift yet, so no gym yet, no exercise. Just focus on recovery and healing. So I just have to continue taking care of um, my scars so that they will heal properly and nicely. And yeah, I feel great. I'm so happy about my chest um, that it's finally this flat. It's not entirely flat, but yeah, you get what I mean. Alright, see ya. Hey guys, it's Vincent here, and I just had my very first workout since my top surgery. Um, currently, I am two months post op, and Wow, it feels so good to finally work out again. Um, actually, I got cleared to go back to working out um, six weeks post-op, but I only actually had time to go back to working out just today. So yeah, I'm giving you an update and everything seems well. There's no pain, no anything. I didn't have any difficulty um, with exercising. Um, it's just that I cannot carry the same um, amount of resistance or weight as to what I used to carry or lift um, before my top surgery because yeah I've been working out for months before that oh yeah uh, actually more than a year so I'm back to carrying lighter weight and it's fine I'm just gonna slowly progress um, the important thing is I'm already back to working out and it's awesome So that's it for now. Um, I'm just really happy and yeah, I, I don't know, I can't put it into words um, how happy I am with my chest. I'm still really focusing on letting the scars heal um, because it has not fully healed yet. So I'll probably make a Q&A video um, in case there were some questions left unanswered um, all throughout this whole video that you guys want me want them to ask me and yeah that's it for now thank you for watching this video see ya